Today we will be solving this Math Olympiad question, where we will apply a lot of circle-related concepts in this single problem, like equal chords and equal angles theorem, central angle theorem, angle-angle side congruence criterion, second tangent theorem, quadratic equation, and Thales's theorem. We have a semicircle. Then we have the length of this piece as 2. This is also 2, and this length is 7. Our job is to find the diameter of this semicircle, or this x. So, can you solve it? Okay, consider a circle with this as its center. Now look at this part very carefully. Draw two chords like this of same length, and then connect this chord with this center such that this angle is theta. Now, if I connect this chord with the center, then this angle will also be equal to theta. This is also called equal chords and equal angles theorem. Now consider this circle with this as the center. Now connect this center with this chord, such that this is some angle theta. Now, if we take any point on this circle and connect it with this chord like this, then the angle it will make here will be theta over 2. This is known as central angle theorem. Now we will combine them together to make something amazing. So, in this circle, if we connect this chord with this point on the circle, the angle it will subtend will be equal to theta over 2. Also, if we connect this chord with the same point on the circle, the angle it will subtend will be equal to theta over 2. So far, so good. Now, in this semicircle, consider these two chords and this point. Since both these chords are of same length, thus, if we connect them to this point like this, both of them will subtend the same angle, and we will call this angle as theta. Awesome! Now this is the diameter of this semicircle, so what will be the measure of this angle? It's simple, right? We can use Thales's theorem, which will give us this angle as 90 degrees. This can also be seen using the central angle theorem, because if this diameter acts as a chord, then this center angle will be 180 degrees and thus this angle will be half of it, or 90 degrees. Great. As a next step, we will extend this chord, and then this line, which will intersect this chord somewhere here. Then this angle will also be 90 degrees. Now consider both these triangles. They both have this same angle theta, then this angle 90 degrees is also the same, and then this is the common side for both these triangles. Therefore, using angle-angle side congruence criterion, both these triangles are congruent. So, if this is x, then this side will also be equal to x. Now this length is 7, and thus this side will be equal to x minus 7. That is simply amazing. Now consider this circle and any exterior point to this circle like this point P. Draw these seconds such that it cuts the circle at points A and B here and C and D here. Then draw a tangent line from P, like this which touches the circle at point T. So, using the second tangent theorem we get PT square equals PA times PB, which also equals PC times PD. So, in this semicircle, we get this length or two times this length, or 2 plus 2, or 4 equals this length, or x minus 7 times this length, or x. Expand to get x square minus 7, x equals 8, or x square minus 7, x minus 8 equals 0. Now we can rewrite this as x square plus x minus 8, x minus 8 equals 0. Take x as common here to get x times x plus 1, and then take minus 8 common here to get minus 8 times x plus 1. So we get this as x minus 8 times x plus 1 equals 0. Thus we get x equals 8 or x equals negative 1. But obviously length cannot be negative, and hence we discard this to get x equals 8. This is our final answer. This was such an amazing question, as we were able to learn, and apply so many concepts in this single video. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon.
as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the pinned comment. So go!